How you guys doing? This week we're doing Dave Matthews' Crash Into Me. The song's called Crash, and it's a quick song, but it's got a lot of changes with your bass finger, but your other fingers stay the same. So as long as you can master that part of it, it should be fairly easy for you. So follow the tab on the screen and let's get to it. Okay, so the main chord for this song is held in this pattern position. It's a C sharp minor seventh, but I'm not really going to get into the chord names. Just follow the tab on the screen and I would say that make sure that you can hold this portion of the chord first, which is your pinky, your ring, and your pointer finger. Um, you're not going to worry about uh, the open string. Um, you're, you're always going to play that open pretty much. And you're going to have your pinky on the fifth fret on the second string which is the open string, it's, it's your tuning fret, so it's going to sound the same. And your next finger, your ring finger, is going to be on the fourth fret on the third string. That's also your tuning fret, so, so those two go there and your, your pointer finger goes on the second fret on the fourth string. And, and then you move around your first finger for the most part. So you start out with, well your, uh, excuse me, middle finger, you move that around for the most part. You start out with your middle finger on the fourth fret on the fifth string and you keep the pointer finger on the second fret on the fourth and then the third and the second with your ring and middle on the fourth and fifth and then open. And you're, you're going to follow the tab and it's going to have this It's going to have that kind of strumming pattern through the whole song. So the f you're going to play that bass note, which is the fifth fret on the f or the fourth fret on the fifth string. And it's kind of a down, up, down, up. And then you're going to lift up your ring finger and play open on the fifth string. hit the second bass note you're going to do a down up down up and then you're going to jump over with your pointer finger from the fourth fret on the second string uh, or excuse me second fret on the fourth string to the second fret on the fifth string See that strumming pattern stays the same. So you move that finger to the second fret, play the bass note, and then you play the open on the sixth string, and you keep that down up down up motion going. And then you're gonna pop your your middle finger on the 4th fret on the 6th string. You're going to keep your pointer finger up on the 2nd fret. So as you're bridging them up here, because you have to keep it on the 2nd fret as the tab indicates, but you also have to play the bass note. And then once you play the open on the 6th, you leave that bridge, and then when you jump this over to the 4th, you got to pop your pointer finger back over. Um, and because that's got to be open. So. Fourth fret. So you're going to play the fourth fret on the sixth string, keeping these fingers all the same. Then open on the fifth, and then leave those all the same. So I'm going to do it one more time all the way through. fifth, you do another bridge, and then you repeat that part over where you do the bridge on the second and then the open on the sixth, which is the second and fourth chords. There's the fifth, sixth, fifth, or sixth, seventh, and eighth, excuse me, are the same as the fifth and sixth, or uh, fourth and fifth. So 
that's how the song goes through over and over and over again through the verses. Now let me show you the little riff that he does as he goes from the verses into the choruses. The next riff goes like this. And that's sort of how it goes into the chorus. And that really is the chorus before it goes back to... So, um, the tab, a couple times, it, there's different parts in the songs. The first time it indicates... So, which is the same as... There's a couple parts in the tab where the first time it might have it one way and the second time it might have it the other way if you're reading this tabs online, but if you're going to follow our tabs, um, it really doesn't matter which way you do it. That's the first time he, you know, you pop your middle finger over to that fourth fret on the sixth string, which is like you're doing in the song. Just like that. So, so it's fourth fret on the sixth, open on the fifth, second fret on the fifth, which is the same as fourth fret on the sixth, fifth fret on the sixth, seventh fret on the sixth, which gives you that slide down, and that's why it's different. The first time there's no slide down, it's just... And then he, he plays uh, the D chord there, but he leaves the the E string open, and he frets down the the F sharp, which which is part of the chord progression. He frets down the fifth. It, it helps make it sound more like it's in key. Um, so you can do to get that slide down the second time. And then you play up on the E chord. Um, follow the tab for that one. That's a standard E chord. And then you wait a beat, and then you upstrum with that D chord with the, the open E string. Um, and that's pretty much how it goes into the chorus. There's one other little part that we'll get to, but for the most part, the whole song is that main chord progression. Those are the verses, and then... That's sort of the chorus. And then uh, we'll teach you that other little part real quick, and then you guys can get to it with the metronome. So that other little part that you've probably heard is sort of the bridge. There's two versions of this song. Uh, the radio edit only does this part once. The other version, the album version, does it twice. So it's more like an extension of the chorus rather than a bridge. That's pretty much all it is. You've got your middle f or your ring finger and your pinky in the same positions that they are for the song and then all you really do is lift them up the other two fingers as you see I've got them lifted and you keep the other two down and you keep the E open and you sort of down up down up up down up down up down sort of like that and you pop your uh, pointer finger down on the second fret and lift up quickly and then there's another second guitar that goes, um, and it sort of sounds like this. It's really a second guitar, but if you want to do it yourself, you can uh, hammer on and pull off on the second fret. And then do the same thing on the fourth fret with your, with your ring finger, or with your uh, middle finger like that. It sort of goes back into it like that. So let's get through the whole song and follow the tab and uh, we'll take your requests as usual. Thanks guys for watching. Okay, I have the metronome set to 102 beats per minute. That's the tempo of the song. Let's get to it.
you have it. That's Crash by Dave Matthews Band. Please send in your requests to social at rawtalentguitar.com. And don't forget, check us out at rawtalentguitar.com.